What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be sharing with you 5 awesome tips and tricks for roofs in Revit. So this will be some additional things that you can do to make your roofs amazing or if you, well, if you haven't figured out some parts of roof construction in Revit, well, you're going to be finding out in today's tutorial. But before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. And follow me on social media as well, links in the description of this video. Okay, so let's get started. Here I am in Revit, and I'm just going to start off from an architectural template, and this is usually what you get. So let's just go to level two, and let's make some imaginary roofs. And the first thing that I'm going to be showing you is, uh, for example, let's go and let's create a roof like this. Let's create some sort of a rectangle, maybe something like that. Yeah, let's zoom in a bit. So yeah, let's do a rectangle like this and finish it off. Okay, now if we go into 3D, this is what we get. Okay, let's move it to the center. Okay, so this is the roof you get, but maybe you don't want to have a roof like this. Maybe you want uh, the slopes on each of the shorter sides to start off a bit uh, later on in the roof. And what I'm talking about here is, let's go back to level two. Uh, let's zoom all, find the roof. Okay, so now if I go here into edit footprint, and I can actually select these two sides and give them an offset from roof base. So if I just type in here a thousand millimeters, which is around one meter and finish this off. Now, if I go into 3D, as you can see, now this side starts to slope only once it gets to one meter from here. So it starts off from here, goes to one meter, and then only then it starts sloping upwards. Okay, so for the second tip, I'm going to be showing you how to use slope arrows to create interesting roofs in Revit. So let's say we want to change this and let's say we want to change it by using slope arrows. So let me go back into a level two and uh, let's just select the roof and go into edit footprint. Okay, so once we're here, uh, first thing we need to do before we use slope arrows, we need to split up this surface a bit. So first I'm just going to make it a bit longer so I can have more space to work with. And then I'm going to go here with split element. Or you can of course use SL for the shortcut and just make one incision over here. I feel like a surgeon now. And then m move on like this, maybe 2000. 500 millimeters, make another one, then go to this side, make, just make sure that it's the same amount, it's going to look symmetrical, so go 2500 over here, finish it off. So we have three of these slopes. Now for these two uh, in, the, in the middle, we're going to uncheck this defined slope. You can either do it over here, or you can do it over here in the properties bar. So I'm just going to uncheck that so it doesn't define slope. And to define slope now, we're going to be using slope arrows. So you just select slope arrow and it's just being constructed by a simple line. So you make sure you go from the uh, beginning to the end of this line and you create your slope arrow, then you select it and give it a height offset at head. And let's give it uh, 1000 millimeters, which is around one meter. And you need to do that for the other side. So again, go slope arrow and you just go from here to here. Again, you select it and you go here and you change this to 1000 millimeters. Hit apply, hit okay. And now if we go into 3D, this is what you get. So that's how you use slope arrows to define the slope of your roof. So you don't only have to use, or you don't only need to use these uh, like little defined slope elements, you can also use slope arrows and it gives you a bit more flexibility when working with roofs in Revit. Okay, so moving on, I'm now going to be showing you how to do a double roof or how to use two roofs to get to your desired roof shape. So let's go back into level two. Let's move away from this a bit and let's go to roof and just do a simple rectangle like this. And uh, for this roof, or maybe let's move it aside a bit, a bit away from this one, okay. And uh, let's just uncheck a defined slope on these two sides. So it's just defined slope on two sides. Okay, so let's say you want to have another break in this roof. So you want it to go uh, like this, and then you want it to go a bit down at a steeper angle. So how do you do that? Well, first, uh, let's just change the angle on this to something less steep, like 15. Okay, so once we have this, uh, let's do uh, th these sides now. So how do you do that? Well, you need to go back into your uh, level two, and then you need to go to architecture, roof, and once you're here, you just go with a simple rectangle 
and with the rectangle you go from one side to the other side and sometimes you can't align it here so don't worry you just go a l oops a l for the align tool you align it and make sure to make it short enough so it doesn't look silly so let's go 1300 and here for the slope let's try something like I don't know like 60 degrees hit apply and uh, before we finish that make sure you select all of these sides and uncheck the fine slope so you only have slope on this side and it's something steep like 60 degrees now you hit finish go into 3d and this is what you're going to get now this doesn't look right of course uh, what we need to do we need to select this roof and kind of offset it a bit so let's give it a top offset of I don't know 2500 let's see what that looks like okay it's almost there maybe you should add just a few millimeters yeah, let's, okay, a bit less, okay, we're getting there, but you get the point, so you just make, make sure to fine-tune it a bit, and then uh, what you need to do is go back into level 2, and now you select one of these sides, and if you can see the main roof, go into site plan, and you just type in double M for mirror, and you mirror it on the other side, and this is what you get, so if I select everything, move it a bit, going to 3D so this is a roof with two breaks and just to connect all of this you can go to your modify tab and you find join geometry and you just join these two and then join this to this and there you go you've got your double roof okay moving on to the fourth tip and that's making uh, two types of openings in roofs so uh, let's go back to this roof over here and if I go into level 2 you're going to be seeing that if I go to architecture we've got some openings over here and we've got opening by face as well as shaft opening or vertical opening it's usually the same thing let's go with the vertical opening so you just select this thing and then you make a perhaps a rectangle like this you hit finish go into 3d and when you're over here you can see this is vertically cutting through the roof as you can see the the cut is vertical over here but let's say you want to have a opening by face so that's something different for these roof windows or maybe you want to have some sort of a terrace over here it doesn't matter you can use pretty much uh, vertical openings for whatever you want but for uh, openings by face you just go like that you select your face and then you can make any shape of an opening you want and it's actually now as you can see perpendicular to the face so if I go like this as you can see it's perpendicular to the face and this is perpendicular to your levels so that's the difference between your vertical openings and your uh, openings by face okay moving on to the next tip and the final tip and that's dormers in Revit so let's see how to make one of those uh, so let's just delete these openings so you can just select the opening and delete it and let's make a dormer over here so how do you do that well what I like to do is I like to go here to roof uh, find a roof by extrusion and then uh, go pick a plane and pick this vertical plane over here and uh, make sure to attach your roof to the same or your dormer roof to the same uh, roof uh, to the same level at which your regular roof is at this uh, uh, instance it's roof level 2 so I'm just going to hit OK and then just go over here maybe look at it like this perpendicularly and maybe you can do like a 45 degree turn like this and 45 like that Usually you would like them to be finished at the same height, so kind of go like that. Or maybe we can we can make it a bit larger like this. Yeah, let's go with 500. Yeah, just to have a softer a softer slope. Okay, you just deleted the bottom line. You don't need it, and you just hit finish. This is what you get. So what I like to do is like to extend it like this a bit. And if you can't align it. Uh, what you can do is you can always go to the properties panel and here for the extrusion start just type in zero and it will align to the uh, to the start and then you can extend this a bit okay and now you need to join it so you can uh, just go here to let's see roof joins and let's see this is join and join roof so we're just going to join it to that and as you can see now uh, we've got a perfect join now before we start cutting into this roof we need to add the walls so you just go to level 2 and uh, you find your dormer and then you go with wall and let's just use regular wall kind of like that maybe use some thinner or no let's go with this one who cares so 
oops, <laughs> don't make it like this. So wall, and then go, I don't know, like that. And maybe mirror to the other side for that, use site plan. So mm, mirror to the other side. And now if we go into 3D, this is what we get. Now, uh, the good part about this, you can select all of these, attach top base, and just attach it to this roof. And uh, now you can see these two elements are kind of hanging out. So you can attach those uh, to this roof. And now it will look just like a regular dormer. Now to make an actual hole for this dormer and for the opening you just go here to dormer on openings, you select it, you select first the roof that you're going to be cutting through, then the roof you're cutting with and then all of the other elements like the vertical face and the side face walls and if you're having trouble just kind of orbit around and once you have this you just go trim and extend, TR is the shortcut and you just go all the way around Got trimming it and you finish it off. And as you can see now we've got a hole over here and the interior it looks, well, it looks like a dormer. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I'm going to be uh, leaving some of the additional playlists for roofs in Revit over here at the end of this video, so check those out. There's a bunch of roof tutorials uh, on my channel already. So that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for any future tutorials, please make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.